guys good morning welcome to my channel this is Ogonwadi's channel thank you so much for tuning in this beautiful day it's Monday over here I don't know what day you're watching this but whatever day it is thank you so much have a wonderful day of that day today I'm gonna show you how I make uh, the fluffy um, cream cheese bread believe me it is yummy with minimal ingredients let me just show you the ingredient here I already measured out what I need but let me show you what you're gonna be needing I have bread flour you can use all-purpose flour if you do not have bread flour you're gonna need sugar you're gonna need salt I'm gonna put all the measurement in the description box below you're gonna be needing egg one for baking and one for making egg wash to make the bread shine and of course I have instant yeast you could use dry active I have unsalted butter that has been on room temperature. I also have my cream cheese, also I've been on room temperature. And here I've got fresh milk. These are the only ingredients you need to make this fluffy cream cheese bread. Believe me guys, you would enjoy it if you try it, all right? Okay, so let's go into making this. Um, follow the steps and believe me, you're gonna come out with the best results, okay? so. Let's do this. Okay, right here, I already have my mixtures of instant yeast, salt, sugar, and of course the flour. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is adding my saffron butter. I'm using just 50 grams. And I already have this cheese open. I'm going to give you guys all the uh, measurements in the box. This is cream cheese. I'm going to be cracking in one egg. Make sure your hands are very clean. I'm just going to add a little more cheese to get the exact quantity. It's an exact measurement that I kind of want. Use scissors and cut that up. All right, this is fine. So I'm gonna mix a little bit before I put the milk. How do you like your bread guys do you use flour i'm using bread flour because this is for the whole family if it's just for me i use almond flour you know so it doesn't knock me off my my diet all right so right now i'm going to be pouring a cup of milk if you pour a cup of milk and you think it's too thick for you you can add more I like it soft and fluffy, so you just use your spatula and mix it. What we're looking for is a soft dough that we can work with. <clears throat> By the way, what I have here is three and a half cup of, of um, bread flour. So you see, it's kind of thick. I'm going to be adding more milk. Because I really, really want it soft. We should do it. Yeah. You see, this should do it. Did you see that? So you just mix. And after this, we're going to leave it for 20 minutes to rest before we knead the dough. Alright, you see that? Okay guys, so now I'm going to cover it and let it sit for like um, 20 minutes. 20 minutes should be fine. You use a wrap or a clean towel. 
that is set for a little bit. We'll be right back, okay? All right, guys, so right now it's 20 minutes. It risen a little bit. So I'm gonna knead it for like um, 10 minutes, but before then, I'm just gonna place some, some flour in my baking mat to help it move. And I start kneading. Okay, so I'm going to knead for 10 minutes. I'm just going to pause so I can continue kneading. You know when it's done, when it's like rubbery or like when you can pull it and then it's not going to tip. Okay, guys, so you see when you can pull it like this, then it's ready. So I'm going to spray this bowl with some oil. You can use butter. And I'm just going to rest our dough in it for an hour. It's going to be here for an hour. You need to keep it where it's warm. You could use the clean wrap at the same time. You could use a clean towel. So we got to leave it to one hour and then we'll be back. Okay guys, it's an hour. What you're going to do is you're going to punch down to take off the excess hair. Please always remember to make sure your hands are extremely clean. So this is the pan I'm going to be using. I just want to grease it with butter. I like greasing both butter and spray. I don't know why. divide it because I'm going to be using two pans. I'll work with the first one. So I'm just going to use my rolling pin. I like to put a little bit of flour. I'm not, all I'm doing is to straighten it out. Fold it. I tuck the sides in, trying to get the size of my pan. And then I pinch here, pinch it together. Okay, I just and I've cut it. You don't have to do this. And to come like a slice. So I'm going to do the next one too. We're just going to do the same process, straightening it out. We're just flattening it out. That's how we do it.
and I'm about to finish. This I'm making slightly bigger. I'm just playing around with it. So right now, for the last time, I'm going to cover it up. And um, let me get the cloth. I'm going to allow it to sit so that it could double in size for like 40 to 45 minutes. While I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Okay. All right. You see, guys, it's doubled in size. Now the final step, what I have here is just the remaining egg and I added one tablespoon of um, fresh milk. I'm just going to brush it. All this is doing is just to give it, you know, that lovely golden shine that you see on bread. And it's going to go in our 350 preheated oven. We're going to be baking for like uh, 25 minutes should be enough. If you want it darker, Normally when I make this type of bread, I don't like it dark, I like it kind of light. I just do 25 minutes. If you want it darker, let it go up to 30 to 35, okay? Okay, so now we're going into the oven. I'm going to set my timer to 25 minutes. 25, 3 and 25 minutes. Alright guys, so this is it. Uh, in the process of trying to rip it, <laughs> it was too hot, so... A kind of um split but that's fine um apparently the 25 minutes wasn't enough for me because it came out like too white i needed it you know slightly brown so i put it back for extra 10 minutes making everything 35 minutes you know your oven best you know if you have to go higher or lower it's um up to you as in in time okay so this is our fluffy cheese cream bread this is nice it is not like sweet you see the quantity of the sugar it's perfect all right so go give it a try tag me on instagram if you happen to uh, make this um recipe thank you so much for joining me i really want to appreciate you my returning subscribers you guys are awesome thank you for the growth of this channel god bless each and every one of you and for you tuning in for the first time god bless you thank you for considering to tune in please do not forget to subscribe like the video share the video if you have a comment question whatever leave it at the comment box below all right thank you so much i'm sorry i'm in a hurry i have to go get my kids thank you stay safe and most importantly guys stay blessed bye right there on top of the moon Sit and do nothing I wish